Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is, I don't even know. I don't even know, folks. This is going to be, um, I don't know, clean off your desk, de slash decluttering, slash ramble, because y'all know. I mean, I can't do a video without talking my head off. So, um, oh gosh, I have lots of stuff on my desk. Yeah, it's the day before the day before Christmas, right? We used to have friends of ours that um, had a night before the night before Christmas party. Yeah, um, so anyhow, this I dug out of the trash because I always like saving these. I don't know why I put it in the trash. Don't ask me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut this little bit off. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but... Um, because it's not like airtight or anything like that. But I had, or my husband got me some, a lovely Christmas bunch of flowers, you know, and this was a carnation. So I dried it in the microwave and it is super duper simple to do. Let's see if I can get it in here without ruining it. Um, yeah, super simple to do. And then here, right here is a little like mum, you know? So I'm gonna put that in there as well. And then I will put it in my book if I can unearth it from the piles that are on my desk. So there's that, okay? So there you have it, right? How cute is that? Um, oh dear, oh dear me. I have got, <sighs> um, sorry if I'm shaking you about, I had to plug in my phone because last night, I couldn't find it um, to plug it in, to charge it. So yeah. Okay, so here is my book right here. And this is my November, December um, journal, right? Daily creative journal, creative daily journal, whatever. There's that sunbeam because I'm filming in the morning. Um, anyhow, November is hardly done. I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not. Um I still have to go in here and do journaling for uh, December, yeah. Um, so let's see, when when was this? Um, when did he go to the store? Today is, yeah, is the day before the day before? Is that right? So today's the, yeah, Thursday the 23rd. Yesterday I went out shopping with my daughter, which was super fun. Um, so maybe, let's see, I went out with my husband first, um, this morning and we got all of our Christmas shopping done. Can you believe, I've never in my life waited this long ever. And of course, you know, I've shared with you my woes of Christmas before. Um, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's just super hard when the kids are older and you know they have their own lives i don't know where i'm gonna put that i think he went to the store this day i'm not sure um yeah it must have been because we got back into town on this day this monday so he must have gone this day i don't know maybe i'll just like poke a hole in this thing and like hang it from here or something i don't know we'll see what happens but we'll keep the book handy just in case we need to pop something in here. Um, and yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my woes about Christmas and all of that. And um, it was just, yeah, it was weighing on my husband and I because, you know, the kids, like I said, they're older, they have their own lives, they have their own money. If they want something, they go out and get it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we went out yesterday and picked up a few things and we're done okay then i got home and then my daughter and i went out because she wanted to um do her christmas shopping which she late waited of course to the last minute as well <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i still have a cough forgive me um and um yeah so she and i went out we didn't get home until it was dark um, I don't know, six or seven or something like that last night. And yeah, so we did that and we got all of her Christmas shopping done. Oh my gosh. 
I think everyone and their brother waited till the last minute this year. So that was that. So that was a lot of fun. And then, excuse me one second. <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, so all of these are just sweet gifts and stuff from the little kiddos, the gemlets at school. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Um, from Bath and Body Works. It's, um, let's see, what is it? It's shower gel, which is fun. I'll take that to the new house. And then I think, yeah, I, you know, I, okay, let's just open it, shall we? I, but I need to, oh gosh, oh dear. I need to make sure that I, you know, I can't remember who gave me this and they did not put their name on it, you know? So I have no clue. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh dear me. Okay. Anyway, it, it was not on there. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to ask kids. And then this was a sweet little gift as well. My, my favorite candies, which are, um, at the moment, Werther's Originals. Look at that paper, how cute that is. Yeah. And some mocha flavored coffee. So sweet. And look at this, the little girl in the class. Well, she's a young lady, excuse me, but she is a painter and she loves to do artwork. She's very creative. So I need to keep all this stuff together because I need to, um, you know, of course do some thank yous, which I've already done. So I do need to make sure, yeah, this is from a sweet little gemlet. And so, oh gosh. Anyway, so all that goes into there. Okay. Oh gosh. Um, okay. So now on to the decluttering sort of, kind of, oh, I was going to mention too, you know how I am. I, I start off with something and then a squirrel passes by and then I go on a tangent and I never finish my thoughts. Okay. So if you had seen my ramble session from, um, Tuesday, and if you haven't go ahead back into my video list and you will find it there. My, I had shown my daughter, uh, had made these beautiful paper cranes, although this is out of a four by four piece of paper and that's how small it becomes, you know, an origami paper crane. And then I didn't bring the ornament in here because it's on my tree. So if you want to see the ornament, you're going to have to go back to the ramble session, 237, I believe. Um, she learned how to make these when she was about 10 years old um, after reading a book called 1000 Paper Cranes. And yeah, so the ornaments she made were made out of two by two pieces of origami paper. And we had, all, I also failed to mention in the previous video, because again, squirrel, that um, we had been in Epcot this past, uh, when? I don't know, October, November, sometime during that time. And we went for a girls weekend, had a wonderful time. And when we were in Japan, we saw these beautiful ornaments and it was a suspended paper crane, you know, in a clear ornament. And I was like, babe, you can make that, you know, why don't you just make those for the kids? So that's what she did. And so that's the, you know, the rest of my thought on the paper cranes. Yeah. And I also didn't bring it in. Oh my gosh, I'm so unprepared. Um, she also made way back when, when she was like in fifth grade, she made like a tiny, a teeny tiny paper crane. And I have it in a little glass jar. I know I've shown it before, but um, yeah, so there's that. Okay, let's get on with the decluttering. Okay, I have got so many of these um, Sterilite drawer system things, okay? And so I wanna kinda clean them out and get things situated. Uh, if you didn't know, I am, my husband and I, are moving, I'm trying to move some stuff around so I can get to another Sterilite drawer. Um, my husband and I are moving this summer, right? So that means that I need to get my crap together, right? Oh my word. Okay, so this is the drawer that I keep my inks in and this is all the inks that I have. Like I have some oxides, I have some distress inks and I just have two archival inks um, and that's it. 
And no, that's not it. That's a lie. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Um, I also have these small anchors, which I much prefer because I do not do a whole lot of stamping. Um, so I don't, I don't need the big old, you know, stamp blocks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. Okay. Um, this is a mouse pad that if I do happen to do stamping, I do it on here. Uh, but again, I don't do a lot of stamping because I just don't. It's just not my thing. You know what I mean? Vern. So, um, yeah. Okay. All of this stuff goes together. Now, this blending tool I will use, this has a pink. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep that, I guess. This is an extra one. This is, these are inks that I'm probably, these are like alcohol inks. I don't normally use them. The only reason I have them is because last year I, um, with the kids at school, we did like a Going West journal that they handmade and sewed and everything. It was so cute. And so I got the idea from someone, could have been Johnny, to make cellophane tape that looks like old yellowed tape, right? So I will keep that. These I don't need. Um, this I got, this idea is super cute if you don't have these blending tools, right? Um, is you just take a makeup sponge and you take a clip like this and you do like that, right? Um, okay, that I'm throwing away. Um, but you just take that and you stick it in there, okay? And then you can use it as a blending stump. So super cute idea, I got that from Kay um, at Kay's Beautiful Struggle and I'll put all the links below. So this goes here. I keep these upside down because someone at some point said it's better for them. I don't know but I have here black soot, peacock feathers. My daughter got me this, it's like one of my favorite colors. She got me that years ago. Um, and then vintage photo, and that's in the Distress ink. So I have those. And then the Distress Oxide, I have frayed burlap, vintage photo, and this is the one I use the most of, which is walnut stain. I love that. Okay, this can go in the garbage. I don't need that. Because I've got all of these, okay, now, I purchased these for the creative cousin, and then of course, you know, her journal got lost, but whatever. Um, we're not gonna go there because I still have issues about that whole ordeal. So I'm actually, this one's already open. <sighs> I'm going to send her one of these, and what I was going to do is get a box out and start filling it up for her because I do have things. Look how jank that is. Like, I don't know. They came in like this, you know, shoved in a bag, mailed. I don't know. All right, so we'll put, um, this goes down here, this goes down here. This is one of those, like, I don't really ever use it. I mean, I'm gonna keep it just in case I ever do use it, but it's one of those makeup brushes I got at probably the Dollar Tree, I'm sure. And you use it for putting ink on whatever you wanna put ink on. So those can go there, this can go here. You know, actually, I'm gonna move these forward because though that's what I use most often, okay? These go back here, blah, 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 this, this, okay. These I'm not going to be using until my daughter I don't know. How do I put these in here so that they fit? Oh, goodness gracious. Of course they don't fit that way. You know what? I hate having them just out willy-nilly, but that's just the way it's going to go, I'm guessing. So we'll just take these out of the packaging and slip them in right here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. We'll do that. And then this one can go in here, and this one is going to the Creative Cousin. So we'll just throw that on the floor over there. Okay. Now, do I need these scraps of cardstock? No, I don't. Am I going to save them? No, I'm not. Um, I know. You guys might be having a heart attack. I don't know. But I don't need to keep every little thing, folks. I don't need to keep every little thing. Okay. So there you have it. Now, I do have most of these things labeled. This says cardstock. Let's see if we can peel that label off. 
Yup, perfecto. Okay, so now I have an empty bin. Yay, me. All right, that's gonna go throw it on the floor. Okay, let's go to another bin. All right, so this I do believe is finished now. That's all the inking, the tools I, I have, the tools I need. It's all right here in one drawer, so perfect. Don't need that. I can put that back away. All right, now I have here some, uh, this is a bag that I'm gonna end up taking to school. Our kids at school, we have an extremely creative class, okay? A lot of them um, enjoy making books. They enjoy illustrating. We have a wonderful cartoonist in our class. Um, of course, the painter that I that I showed you her painting earlier. And so I'm not going to use these. I haven't used them for years. It was a collaboration I did with Arteza years ago. They sent me twi markers. Um, I thought I would use them. Um, they are great pens. I mean, I hope they still work, but um, they're like a brush tip. Oh yeah, they do. Great. They're a brush tip on one end. Um, because back in the day I thought I was going to learn to brush letter. Yeah, that never happened. So, and then there's a super fine tip and I don't generally use super fine tips. Now, granted, I can probably tell you that like in a year from now, I'm going to be like, I wish I hadn't given those away, but they're going away. Okay. I'm going to put them in my daughter's room and her kids can use them till their heart is content. Okay. Then we have here twistables. Uh, these are probably from my kids' um, homeschooling days, okay? Don't use them. Obviously, the kids don't use them. My kids, you know, they're going to school as well because her kids will use them. Okay, here we have some extra pens. Now, uh, these I might have gotten at... I don't know. I probably got them at the office supply store. There is 03 tip Pentel Energel. Um, yeah, extra fine. I like those for certain things. And then these I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay. And so, yeah. But if you'll notice, I have this. Okay. I, I don't know. Guys, oh my gosh. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, and then these I got also, they're from Jot. I got those at the Dollar Tree as well. These are cinch things, which, you know, they need to go somewhere. I don't know. Gold glitter, like, are you kidding me right now? Um, I'm going to have to ask my daughter about this because this I used years ago. I've had it for years and I used it to make my daughter's graduation, her uh, college, you, you know, university graduation cap. I don't think I need glitter. I really don't. Um, I can't stand it, so sorry, that's going away. Okay, these beautiful feathers got at probably Dollar Tree. I don't need those. Um, piece of cardboard, do I use cardboard? Yes, I do. This I might keep, no. We're not keeping stuff, Elizabeth, we're not cardboard no no we're not we're just not okay now we are getting back to the ruthless this had color paper in it yeah not anymore okay so there we go now another empty well sort of empty drawer because i'm putting these cinch things back in here can i tell you i thought i couldn't live without a cinch machine and ask me how many times i've used it my beautiful husband got it for me years ago there is definitely a learning curve to it. Um, I am going to keep it because, you know, I don't know. Maybe in some sort of time to come, I don't, I don't know. I might end up using it. Okay, so we're going to put these pens back in here for now. For now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that bucket is done. All right. This right here. And I cannot tell you. You know you've got to know how old this thing is, right? Okay, now I'm going to open it and see if the washi tape is still good, okay? Because y'all know um, I live in a, is it open? No, of course not. Um, ugh. I live in a tropical location, so things like this, you know, they they can go bad, right? 
Um, but I can tell you that I don't use this washi. Let's see if we can even get in. Is it like, oh my gosh, it's like people proof folks. Um, so I'm going to see if it is still usable. I will send it to the creative cousin. So, and either she can use it or her, um, um, sisters can use it, you know? So let's see here. It feels okay, but let's see if what ends up happening, if you don't know, um, is that it ends up being sticky on this side as well. And, oh my word, it's not. So guess what? Okay, all of this is going to the creative cousin. All right? As maybe as well as this, maybe not. This is a little bit more vintage. I don't know. I might save these, perhaps. Um, because I do plan on doing journals, you know, once I move and all that kind of stuff. So... I think I will keep this. This I will give to the creative cousin. So that goes over in her pile. Okay. This I'm going to put aside because I am going to go through my um, washi. Okay. So another empty one. Yay me. All right. Now let's see with this right here. Okay. All right. Do I need this? I don't know. Um, no. No, I do not. I'm gonna take this to my daughter's school and put it in the science box. Cause you know, I can use a plate, I can use a candle to me. Yeah, I don't need a compass to make a circle. Okay, these pencils, um, yeah, they're going to school. So that goes in there. All right, <coughs> excuse me again. I have these graphite pencils, but to be honest with you, um, I have graphite pencils, so these are going to go to school for those little, those little artist kids, you know? All right. Um, this I don't need. This is a friction pen, erasable black pen. I do not use these anymore. This right here is an entire set of friction pens I don't need anymore. I will be taking these to the school because the kids love using erasable pens. And yeah, okay. This I always need that and any research so that is staying okay these right here this is um, um what are they called these are grease pencils all right and these are i have to tell you they come well let me see blue white black green red whatever they are fun to use in mixed media which i really don't do but i am going to keep them yep so this one is a yellow one that goes in there. I don't know if I have any more in there or not. So I do need to go through my pens though. Because I don't need everything, folks. I don't need everything. All right. This, oh gosh, look at all this. Sarasa pens. Now, I do love me a Sarasa pen, okay? I do. Now, how many flipping pencils do I need? Good grief. Okay. I do like Sarasa though. Um... So I will keep that, those, if I keep finding them. There's another one. Okay, so I need a place to put those. All right, I don't need all these pencils, so what is this? This is a friction clicker, don't need that. Um, more pencils, okay. <sighs> more pencils without erasers. Who needs a pencil if you don't have an eraser? Okay, more pencils. These are all going to school. The kids can use them, that's fine. Or, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. Here's a bunch of lead going to school. I don't need, I don't need that, okay? I don't need it in my life. All right, here's another pencil. Here's a bunch of black um, flare pens. Oh, and here's like a deep purple one. Now those I will keep because I do like me a good flare. Those are going over in my pen holder. I do not need a highlighter. That's going to school. Um, any of these. Okay, this can go to school. Now this, I do like general pen pencils. This is a 4H, let me see. 
This is where I keep my pencils. So let's see what's in here. If I can get it out. Okay. All right, well, that can go in there. I'm sure I have a whole set. Yeah, I see them over there. Dagnabbit. Okay, I don't need any of those. All right. I do want my Sarasa pens, though, perhaps. Because I am going to be using a different type of journal next year, and so these might work really well. Yeah, we'll see. I don't even know where I got these, but we're going to keep those up there for now. All right. Let's just go through this real quick okay and then this said on here school supplies no don't need that anymore and then this little like bubble thing I don't even know if that thing will come off I don't know I don't have time for that right now oh my gosh more pencils guys more pencils see more pencils all right um I am attempting to be ruthless with all of this so let's just get all these out of, ooh, look at all that. Ooh, that's gross. Okay, this is a lovely cup that my daughter got me with my initial on it. I absolutely love it. Look at that, from Williams Sonoma. Okay, beautiful cup. What did I do to it? I chipped it, of course I did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, okay. Do I need this? No. All right, this is a regular pen. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I don't know. All right, we're just gonna clean this out. I love these, okay, just so you know. These are Pentel click erasers. Love them for um, drawing and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Pencil with that and eraser, no. Okay, popsicle stick, you can always use one of those. This is a bookmark that I'm sure I got in Happy Mail. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'll be saving that over there. Okay, here is a regular pen. This I received in Happy Mail, too. Look at that little Norwal. So cute. Um, I do need a regular pen. Here's a silver pen. Let's even see if that works. Um, yes, it does. Okay. We'll keep that. My Micron's got to keep those. All right. Micron, 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 Micron. I do... You know, I mean, normally I keep them facing down. Okay, don't need any of that. Um, whoops. Because, you know, so the ink flows to the tip, but it's not very helpful because then you can't see what, you know, which whatever's they are, but that's okay. All right. White gel pen, I thought I could, or a white out pen, I thought I could use this for like white things. Nah, doesn't work. Um, these were not cheap. Um, I have to tell you, they are whatever kind. Uniball Signo, garbage. Okay, don't like them. Jelly Roll, garbage, don't like them. It, they just don't work for me. They just don't work for me. Um, do I need a blue pen? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here's a pencil, another um, general pencil. And this is a 2H, so that's going in my little pencil case there. Um, these are just ballpoint. There's a pencil. Here's another clicker pen. This is a ballpoint. No, is it? I don't know. Pro Max? I don't know. Um, keep those, I guess. Keep those. I don't need these. This goes in my pencil case. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Although... You know what I will do? Um, one of the little gemlets last year gave these to me, but I will put these these into the school bag. Okay, take those to school. Um, this can go in the school bag. These go in my little pencil case, which is right here. Okay, there we go. That is beautiful. Everything compact. Okay, this goes in here. Okay, now we now now we're cooking with gas, folks. We're cooking with gas. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and then I'll just put my Sarasa. See, these are all like black and blue pens, but I'm gonna go ahead and go wild and put my Sarasas in there too. Okay, so now that is taken care of. Yay me! All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And then these again are. This one, but again, empty, empty, yay. Okay, 
um, I don't know where I'm going to put these things. This grease pen, pen, whatever they're called. I'll put those in there. Okay. Now, let's get on to another one. Guess what? Okay. I used to love using these, and these are super duper old. Okay, these are from years ago. 2016, all right? They're all going in the garbage. I, I don't, I honestly, I feel terrible, sort of, because my beautiful son got me these. Um, but they are literally, like, dried out, okay? Um, complete, like, oh, no, that one's not dried out. Ooh, maybe I'll keep that one. Some of them... So let's rephrase some of them. Let's get the dirty rag here. Were completely dried out. Um, like hard as a rock. And yeah, I don't know. They just like, I'm pretty sure that this one's dried out. Let's see. Oh, look at that's disgusting. Okay, yeah, these did not last all that long. So yeah. But I am, yeah, see, that's like, that's like hard. So, I don't know. I mean, seriously, like, do I need purple paint? You know what I'm saying? That, look at that. It's like hard as a rock. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye. They were fun while they last. I love this color so much. But again hard as a rock. I will not, I'm not going to reconstitute them. Again, I do feel terrible, but you know, they serve their purpose. Okay. And again, I am trying my best there, um, to be ruthless with my decluttering. I have not used those in years. Um, yeah, so that's just the way it is. Now, this is all, this is like tissue paper and napkins. Um, what, like, um, probably one of a kind napkins, not one of a kind, but you know what I'm saying? Like single napkins, which is all I'm keeping. All right. I've got drawers and drawers. These are from happy mail. Beautiful, beautiful napkins for decoupage. I love them. Um, look at that from Alice in Wonderland, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm, I am going to be keeping those. Okay. And I do have another, um, whatchamacallit, what's it called? Bin, you know, another bin of this that has so many and I'll probably do that in a separate video. Okay, let's get down here. Oh, get another bin. I've got so many bins, guys. Okay, so this in here is cardstock and yes, I will be keeping that because of course, you know. All right, let's move the kiddos bag here. I'll bring all, boy, they'll be happy to see that stuff. Okay, look at that. Like, who, who needs that? Nobody. Okay. Um, let's see what all I have in here. All right. So, yeah, this is all cardstock of different flavors. All right. Um, yeah. This right here, I don't know if I'm going to keep or not. I might, um, I don't know. I'll show you in a second. And here is just some more cardstock, right? I don't even know what that is. All right. Um, is this more cardstock? Yeah, this is like white cards. That is not. No, that's just like a piece of cardboard or something. I'm not keeping that. All right. So this is all, yeah, like just cardstock. And now, see, these are like card bases, is what they are. But. Wouldn't they be fun to use in a journal, right? They have like a score mark in the center. And yeah, they would just be fun to add into as a page in a journal. So I think I will keep those. Okay. This is all just eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I do believe that that is all I have, okay, at the moment. And that's all I plan on having. I am not buying anything new. Okay. Just not going to happen. All right. Just not going to happen. So, okay. That can go over there. Now, oh, let's see. All right. I have these. Okay. Um, these are envelopes. Do I need them? No, I don't. I just don't need them. So yeah. Um, 
Gonna put those in a separate pile to go elsewhere, okay? Index cards. These are plain index cards. Oh my gosh. All right, here's more plain index cards. I do not do index cards. I do not use index cards. Yes, I could dye them. I could make them into tags. I can do all that kind of stuff. Do I want to? Not really sure. I don't know. This is where my daughter graduated from. I'm pretty sure um, it had her diploma in. Do I need it? Nope. Could I use it at some point? Probably. Am I going to anytime soon? Nope. Okay, here is here are... Uh, more envelopes, more envelopes, oh my gosh. This, oh, you know what? This is from making like um, a journal, you know? Okay, that needs to go over there, throw it on the floor. Okay, here are some more envelopes. I do have, okay, wait, let's see. Oh, these are cards and envelopes. Okay, those I am saving because I could always paint on those. Here's some orange ones. I, I mean, they're still, oh no, I did open them. But they're super thin and I, yeah, I don't need them. I just don't. Here's a bunch of um, index cards. I'll probably put them in a box to send um, elsewhere. Yeah, I just don't need them right at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, again, being ruthless. Okay, so all of this, you know what? Who am I kidding? This is all going into a box to go away. Yep, to go away. So, now there, it's in there. Okay, so, wait, do I have any more? No, okay. So there we go. We have one, two, three, four bins that are now empty. Um, starting a pile for the creative cousin and I've saved the only cardstock I have and so yeah okay we got through a bunch of stuff all right so I'm gonna put these drawers away and I'll get some more bins out and go through them hmm shall we yes yes we shall okay yeah I hope you enjoyed that um, I'm thank you so much for coming along with me and getting rid of my stuff you know yeah. Ruthless, guys. Got to be ruthless. Okay, so I'm going to go get some more bins, and I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, yeah, thanks for sharing your time with me. Thank you for keeping me company, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.